Greetings everyone and welcome to Office Yoga TV Breathing Exercises. I'm your host Zach Sakbe and in this session we're going to learn about and work with even alternate nostril breathing. Now with any breathing exercises it's a good idea to stretch a little bit first so I encourage you to pause the video, stand up, stretch your body, do a little twist, do a little arm stretch, massage your butt, move your legs a little bit, and then sit down to begin. Okay, so let's begin. Now, alternate nostril breathing is one of the fundamental breathing exercises for yoga pranayama, and it has the incredible effect of balancing the brain, balancing the right and left hemispheres, balancing the nervous system, and balancing your overall sense of being. So if you're ever feeling frazzled, if you're ever feeling too excited or not excited enough, it could be a really great practice to bring you right back to center. Now there are many variations of alternate nostril breathing. So in this session, we're going to focus on the most fundamental kind, the most basic kind, which is breathing in through one nostril and then exhaling through the other inhaling through that one and exhaling through the other. And we're gonna do it in the same proportion of time and then in future videos we'll look at other variations of this. Now the first thing to point out is that at any given time we are breathing more predominantly through one nostril or the other and this will shift throughout the day. And yogic science talks about the different benefits of one breathing through one nostril or the other, which we'll deal with in other videos. But for now, I'm just going to point out that you might find that one nostril at any given time is more clogged than the other, and that's totally normal. So it's a good idea sometimes to keep some tissues nearby because you may need to clear things out a little bit as you go. Totally appropriate and normal. Now, advanced practitioners would be able to do a alternate nostril breathing without using their fingers, but for us to start, and even for myself, um, we're going to use our fingers to block off one nostril or the other. So you could just use your thumb, like this, pressing against the side. You could use your thumb against the bottom, and then you could use another finger uh, against the bottom of the nostril or to close it directly. Sometimes you'll see uh, this practice with the right hand, the right thumb to close the right nostril, and the left two fingers uh, with the ring finger pressing against the left nostril. So uh, you don't want to be switching hands. Usually it's the right hand um, that's doing this, but find something that's comfortable. So we're going to start with blocking the right nostril and inhaling through the left for five seconds. And then we're going to switch and exhale through the right for five seconds. And then inhale through the right through for five seconds, exhale through the left. And we'll just keep going in this pattern back and forth. I'm just going to make sure I'm clear myself there. And we'll do this for about three minutes. It's good to do this for about three minutes. You could do it for a shorter period of time, but you really, to give the whole body and mind and brain um, and nervous system time to reset, you wanna do it for a couple minutes. Okay, so let's begin. Cover your right nostril and inhale for five seconds. Uh, I like doing one ohm, two ohm, three ohm, four ohm, five ohm, so. And switch and exhale. Inhaling through the right now. Exhaling through the left. And keep going. And exhaling. And inhaling. Exhaling. And inhaling. Exhaling. Keep going. I'm going to talk about this a little bit as you keep going. So inhaling left, exhaling right, inhaling right, exhaling left. So as you're doing this, you might find that a certain nose is a little clogged or stuffier, so you need to inhale or squeeze a little bit harder and maybe on the other, you need to exhale a little bit more. The idea is that you have the same amount of breath coming in and out. So you might find you might have to be a little bit more forceful with one to get all the air in or out, or you might have to be a little bit more relaxed with one. And over time, 
And it may take a couple days of practicing this to get your system balanced, but you should find an equilibrium where it's about as easy, even though there's a predominance of one nostril or the other, to breathe uh, more one versus the other. So I'm going to jump back in. You keep going. Um, we don't have to be exactly synced up. I'm going to start again on the left. And counting one ohm, two ohm, three ohm, four ohm, five ohm, and then switching. Keep going, and if you want at this point, we're gonna do it for at least another minute. If you want, you could actually increase the time you're doing, but do it evenly. So you can go up to eight seconds or even 10 seconds. I wouldn't recommend when you're just starting to go further than that and just do it longer, okay? So. Do one last round in the nose you're doing. Out. In. Out. Then relax, close your eyes. Return to natural breathing. Do whatever the breath is suggesting that it needs to do. Just sit quietly, meditate for a brief moment. And hopefully you can feel some of the subtle and not so subtle effects of this breath. Now, as I mentioned, this is one of the fundamental breathing exercises of yoga, and it has incredible effects for stabilizing your mind, for stabilizing your brain, for stabilizing your nervous system, for your emotions. So I highly, highly encourage you to practice this if you can, a little bit every day. You wanna do at least three minutes. You could do up to five, you could even do 10. When you're just starting off, I wouldn't do too much longer than that. And remember, the, the nostrils might feel different. This is a really good one to do before bed uh, to calm yourself down. And it's a really good one to do throughout the day as a break from work, just to kind of stabilize and bring yourself back to center. So hope you enjoy this breathing exercise and keep on practicing.